All right, what we're talking about today is shelf bars. I did a uh, video on the D1.1 CWI exam, and there was a number of questions on the CWI exam about the shelf bars here. Um, I found it on AWS D1.1, page 205. All right, that's um, the section and fabrication. It's 5.24.4. Uh, that's where you're going to find this. And it's just a little tiny section. And all it says about the shelf bars is refer to 5.0. 0.10.1 through 5.10.5. This right here is all about backing materials. So you're going to refer to the shelf bars basically as a backing material. One question was when can you leave them in? If it's statically loaded, you can leave the shelf bar in. If it's uh, not, you have to take it out. That's all stated in the backing section. So basically, if they're asking any questions on shelf bars, you're going to refer to this, the backing section. Now I'm going to show you an actual print that I found on the internet of what a shelf bar actually is. Alright, this is the only thing I could find in the D1.1 on shelf bars. 5.24.4 in the fabrication section of the code book. Shelf bars shall conform to the requirements of 5.10.1 through 5.10.5. Shelf bars may be left in place only for statically loaded members. That was what one of the questions was on the test the statically loaded members part it can be left in for that go down here page 205 in the book 2010 edition now we'll go to the section it referred to and you can see here what it refers to is backing that entire section that they referred to it's all about backing. There's your page number 197. It ends right here with your statically loaded connections. And it says the same thing here that you can leave in your backing if it's statically loaded. Now, if it's cyclically loaded, you got to remove it. So, that's basically all it's saying about the ever important shelf bar refer to it as backing alright this is the only thing I could find on the internet that was actually an official document on shelf bars and you can see it has an inquiry and a response on here that's AWS D1.1 interpretation and it's basically just asking some questions here and it says is the use of a shelf bar for welding column splices in the horizontal position permitted by the code? The answer is yes. The use of shelf or weld tab is acceptable when welding compression members for removal. The next uh, inquiry was, does the use of a shelf in column splices welded in the horizontal position violate the 1 8 max reinforcement permitted by the, other, the previous section in the code? And it says no. The one-eighth of an inch reinforcement refers to a uh, face of unsupported weld metal only when a shelf or welded tab is used. This requirement does not apply. So this is the only thing that I can even find on this that was an actual, you know, official document from the American Welding Society. All right, now this is an American Welding Society forum. This is where I actually found a little print of a shelf bar. Uh, basically, it's just a discussion going on here. It says, has anyone uh, heard of a shelf bar? It is used when welding horizontal grooves using flux core arc welding. Uh, I've seen them used for at least 20 years in the field for column splices. I just learned they addressed it in the 2010 revision of the D1.1. They are pre-qualified. I've always accepted them under the premise that the engineer allows it. They are golden, no better and no worse than a backing bar, which is what we just saw in the um, uh, AWS document for a static structure they are left in place unless the engineer wants them removed. Also saw that in the AWS document. Now I'm going to scroll down here to the actual print. Alright, here is the uh, print of a shelf bar and you can see it's a horizontal weld and it's just got a little tab underneath it, a little bar, that's all it is. Uh, so if you're taking the D11 uh, CWI exam you better know this is what they're talking about. If you have any questions on shelf bars, feel free to throw them in the comments section. All right, so if you have any comments on shelf bars, throw them into the comments section. Uh, if you're taking the CWI exam, I recommend knowing what they are. Hopefully this helped. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Well.